Welcome to the fascinating world of history unfolded in which we will talk about the African Plate. The African Plate, also known as the Nubian Plate, is a major tectonic plate that includes much of the continent of Africa, except for its easternmost part and the adjacent oceanic crust to the west and south. It is bounded by the North American Plate and South American Plate to the west, separated by the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, the Arabian Plate and Somali Plate to the east, the Eurasian Plate, Aegean Sea Plate, and Anatolian Plate to the north, and the Antarctic Plate to the south. Between 60 million years ago and 10 million years ago, the Somali Plate began rifting from the African Plate along the East African Rift. The western edge of the African Plate is a divergent boundary with the North American Plate to the north and the South American Plate to the south, which forms the central and southern part of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The African Plate includes several cratons, stable blocks of old crust with deep roots in the subcontinental lithospheric mantle and less stable terrains, which came together to form the African continent during the assembly of the supercontinent Pangaea around 250 million years ago. In some areas, the cratons are covered by sedimentary basins such as the Tinduf Basin, Taudeni Basin and Congo Basin, where the underlying archaic crust is overlaid by more recent Neoproterozoic sediments. The African Plate is rifting in the eastern interior of the African continent along the East African Rift. One hypothesis proposes a mantle plume rising beneath the Afar region, pushing the crust outward, whereas an opposing hypothesis explains the rifting by dynamics in the crust as a break in the African plate along a line of maximum weakness, as plates to its east move rapidly northward. The African plate's speed is estimated at 2.15 centimeters or 0.85 inches per year. It is pushing closer to the Eurasian plate, causing subduction where oceanic crust is converging with continental crust, for example, portions of the central and eastern Mediterranean. In the Western Mediterranean, the relative motions of the Eurasian and African plates produce a combination of lateral and compressive forces, concentrated in a zone known as the Azores-Gibraltar Fault Zone. Along its northeast margin, the African plate is bounded by the Red Sea Rift, where the Arabian plate is moving away from the African plate. The New England hotspot in the Atlantic Ocean has probably created a short line of mid to late tertiary age seamounts on the African plate, but appears to be currently inactive. Subscribe and stay tuned for more interesting episodes of History Unfolded.